This Echo Deco plant at Locher Moss near Dumfries is a state-of-the-art waste management facility, the first of its kind to be built in Scotland. It is part of a 25-year private finance initiative with Shanks, Dumfries and Galloway to manage waste from around the region, manage landfill sites, including closed landfill sites, and to achieve the targets set by European and national legislation. Construction began in 2004. The plant received its first waste in 2006 and in 2007 it was formally opened by Princess Alexandra. It has the capacity to process up to 65,000 tonnes of municipal solid waste from Dumfries and Galloway each year. In Nithsdale, wheeled bin and bag mixed waste collected by the council goes directly to the Echo Deco plant, while in Annandale and Eskdale the waste is taken to a transfer station where it is bulked up into larger vehicles for transportation to the plant. A similar operation takes place in the stewartry, thus reducing the distances travelled by the refuse collection vehicles. Some waste from the Wigtown area, which is rejected from the Galdenoch composting plant near Stranra, is also bulked up and brought to Echo Deco. First stop for the refuse is the Weybridge. This enables us to monitor the amount of waste entering the plant and to comply with the legal requirements for recording waste data. Each working day around 200 tonnes of mixed waste is tipped directly into one of two waste pits. Cans, paper, old clothes, kitchen and garden waste, broken toys, nappies, glass bottles, plastic containers and anything else that may have been put into a wheeled bin is fed into a hopper and shredded. Very occasionally inappropriate items such as gas cylinders are put into wheeled bins and these items should not go through the shredder. Gas cylinders should always be taken to household waste recycling centres for appropriate disposal. The shredded material is transferred to the storage pit by a conveyor belt that can swivel through 180 degrees so that waste is spread evenly across the pit. From here the waste is moved to the bio-drying area and placed on a raised concrete floor. The floor is covered with small holes and pipes which are connected to fans on the outside of the plant. Air is drawn through the waste by the fans and this provides the correct aerobic conditions for naturally occurring bacteria in the material to break down the organic part of the waste. Heat is produced naturally in the shredded waste causing water to evaporate and this creates moisture laden air around the waste. The moisture laden air is pumped from the bio drying area to an outside biofilter containing bark chippings which neutralize odors. The moisture rising from this biofilter is water loss from the waste. This stage of the process reduces the weight of the waste by around 30%. The airflow through the waste is managed by fans which are controlled by a computer to ensure that an optimum temperature range is maintained. <laughs> 